Hello world, this is the Rovarian and welcome to part 11 of the Humankind. Last episode we reached the medieval era and now we are Norsemen. Har har. So now we want to go out into the deep, into the high sea, not the deep sea. Probably also deep there, but we want to go, we want to set sail into the high sea. For that we at first need some more technologies, so we need to research at first foreign outposts because that's a precondition and then seafaring mastery. Um, I try to get there as quick as possible actually. I hope we can achieve that in this very episode already to set sail, see how it works and maybe even found, find new shores. Let's say, let's see. Speak, speaking skills um, apparently on low level right now. I hope that becomes better <laughs> during the episode. Otherwise, deal with it. It's not going to be better right now. <laughs> Automatically. But I try my best. Um, okay. Other than coming to the medieval era as Norseman, what allows us now to build this beautiful building the Naust, what gives us a lot of food. So I hope the food issues in Timisoara, Pikal, Regensburg, basically I hope we never have food issues there now because we should have enough food income. Mohenjo-Daro I'm a little worried because they don't have a coast. Would be perfect to get in this territory maybe and to also have access then there, but that's something for the future. I don't intend on uh, starting a war right away. Just seeing that our stability is getting lower here. That, that we have to take care of. Otherwise, we developed our cities last time. We now have copper and iron. We have quite some kungars built. Um, and yeah. We focus now on developing our city on developing our cities even further, but Main goal is go on to the high sea. Okay, cultural influence wise, we look quite stable. Don't know why we are not converting. I think it's called converting. Um, this territory, although we have 60%. On the other hand, we are also not losing this one, although we only have 43%, so I'm fine with that. Religion wise, we are converting here. And then we see further. 32 followers, 65 we need for the next tenant. Then we can choose another bonus. We'll see when to get there. Points wise, we are in second place. Um, I think the first three empires, so the Ghanaians, we, and the, the unknown, for us unknown ones, I think those have been Huns. Have, they have been hunts at some point. I don't know what they are now, actually. I don't remember. Um, yeah, they are in the lead. They already have six stars, so they are close to the, the next arrow already. But the point lead is not as big. Okay, then let's start with progress. City starvation. Mojandar. I jinxed it probably when I when I said that like I hope our food issues are now resolved. Only for Manjo Daru I'm worried. Yeah. There it is. Um they have bountiful for nine turns, then it will look even worse. Hmm. Um does that make a difference? That one guy? No. Okay. Solved for the moment. They build a maker's quarter, I think up here. Yeah, here. In Baten Kaitos. Um, yeah. They look placed nicely. Anything to do? Oh, in one turn, Tikal will have a theater. Tikal builds something. Go, Tikal. Um, all the others still have stuff to do. Okay. Next turn. 
Ah, wait, I remember something. I remember something from last episode. Um, we had a demand ongoing, didn't we? Yeah. The Ghanaians want that we give them Ghanan. But why would we? They have a war support? Ah, because they're having a demand. Okay, but... I want to demand something too, then. Why are they having a demand? I mean, then we could have a demand on that territory, for example. Because of the religion or what? Um, can we do that? Yes. No, I don't want to accept demands. I want to, to have demands. How do I get to have demands? Can we buy that? No. Okay. Uh, no, we don't want. Then they get 10 war support. But otherwise, they get 3 war support every turn, as long as we don't do anything. Okay. Refuse and. Has been forgiven. Perhaps I was hasty. Consider my demands withdrawn. Okay. I Honestly, I expected them to See? declare war right away because it's the Ghanaians. We have some history with them so i expected more uh, resistance there okay do we or we don't have a announced yet in tikai do we have the stability yes easy um yeah 18 food income that's nice because it doesn't take too long seven turn that's actually fine Especially for Tikal. Um, ah, yeah, as after the patch now, also the prices uh, for buyout are reasonable actually. We can boost also the industry or the at least the building speed here, the construction speed, probably the better term, um, with money. And money at the moment we have quite some. Okay. Then we also have some story ongoing where the Regensburg, the battle for the mind. The great city of Regensburg is bursting at the seams, countless souls pressed within the city's tight borders. In the dense squalid quarters, cases of madness are on the rise. Religious leaders contend that demonic forces are behind the afflictions, while the philosophers argue for natural causes. Both are strong voices in the empire with competing solutions. What is your response? Okay, we can study them. What boosts our science? I mean, for becoming seafarers, that would be nice. We can pray, fanatical, plus 25% faith, or plus 100 money. Okay, that's no. Um, we study them. An outpost in four turns. Can we, can we, can we, can we, um, where is it? Ah, not a building. I wanted to see if we can move some people from industry. Still seven turns, seven turns. No, it's eight turns. Did that improve now? The... Research speed? No, not at all. How many would we need? Five? Still doesn't make a difference. Hmm. Anyway, I, I would like to go there as fast as possible. Timishwara. Money, we don't necessarily need the money income. Also, we have quite some money income. Ah, we can also take the, the guys from food actually in Timishwara. Because since we upgraded the harbor, that we get three per coastal water, we have quite some food income here actually. That's nice. So if we be boosted further. Ah, yeah, and actually, ah, we not only have the, that harbor, we also have the Naust. What boosts everything even more. 
That's great. And yeah, here we can build stuff. Okay. Actually, next turn that will be relevant. Um, right now we are doing fishery. Most stability 95, so we could build another district. Hmm. We could build two farmers' quarters here. I mean, here then again we have industry. Also, I mean, if then we build the farmers' quarters here actually, because there they can benefit from each other nicely. At least in that area. That would mean more industry over here. Like here we can then have... Oh, but actually we would benefit more here, I think. Yeah. Gives plus 10. Here it gives plus 14. Ah, because it also takes it out of the territory. Of the board of the territory. Probably because they are attached to the same city. Or here. Hmm. I mean, but the idea is also to build down here in order to then have access to uh, farmers' quarters here. Actually, mainly here. These three, if we have farmer quarters, they would boost each other nicely. Go here with the farmers' quarter. Okay, Regensburg is busy. Manjadaro, two turns. Tika, seven turns. Okay, oops. Osmosis event. What are these guys doing here? The Ghanaians are already behaving again a little worry. Let's say. Osmosis event. Religious tolerance. Open minded. Um, fine with that. What do we have there at the moment? Religious tolerance. Nothing. Perfect. Okay. Um, Take that. Gives us plus three influence on territories if territories follow state religion. Reaching the end of an okay. ideology. Um, yeah, it doesn't. Ah, oh, here we don't convert anymore. Damn it. But here we are converting now. Nice. 61%. Um, they follow. Okay, probably you need more than 60% or so uh, in order to convert it. It's not enough to have just above 50. Okay, so that means on all these territories we now have even additional faith. Nice. Um. That was a little bit here. Oh, just plus 28 in district. Okay. Now ah, here it says plus 41 from district, plus 6 from influence, and plus 5 from Lake Hilly. So here we should have plus 9 from territories. Yeah. And even T curl plus 3 at least. Yeah, because that follows our religion, although we only have 40%. That he teaches shamanism. Okay. Ah, that's the that's the the bear symbol, isn't that? The leading nation. Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay. Um. Turn. Now we see what to do in Mohenjo Daro. What are you guys doing there? I hope this is a friendly discussion. From having more ongoing demands? But we re we refused that demand. Did they renew it? Then what's the idea? Why do they retreat it first if they renew it anyway? They have a very high war support now. <laughs> How could you think the answer would be yes? We refuse again. Thanks, Jay. Plus 15. Demand withdrawn. They might declare war on us soon. 
the beeps. Religious minorities. The empire stands for tolerance and religious freedom. Faiths of many denominations welcome here. However, now that your own religion is stronger than ever with two holy sites found across the land, you have the power to decide if minorities of other faiths should be subject to taxes for peaceful coexistence. We don't have the influence anyway. Uh, plus 10 money on territories. If we tax them. Or plus 10 stability on territories that follow a foreign religion. Okay. So we can decide either plus 10 money per turn. It's not that strong. Plus 10 stability. The, from that we benefit at least. Okay. Then building stuff in Mohenjo Daro. Food issues. What can we do? But also stability issues. That gives additional food. That gives additional food. Quite some even because we have one, two, three, four. I think that we don't get food. Five tiles. Six tiles of river. I think that also counts still as a river. Yeah. We have more river up here, but uh, we are not using any so far. Uh, but yeah, that boosts quite some. Then we develop these two things now to help with the food problems. And then we build the aqueduct to also cope with stability issues. And the theater to increase our influence around here. Maybe then we can turn... Ah, no, now it's below 60% again. Now we are not converting it anymore. Okay. But it also has its benefits. With that osmosis events, they, they can be nice. Especially if you don't have it yet, I mean, we still get a bonus. It's only not nice when we have to change it to something that we don't want to. Okay. So, research done. Violence has temporarily halted your purchase of ambergris from the trade route blocked. Demand received again. Transcriptions can be forgotten for a small price. Yeah, whatever. Now they anyway will have huge walls of wrong grievance triggered. This. Strength is comparable. Knowledge screen. We want seafaring mastery. Okay, 20, 21 turns. Okay, so guys, in 21 turns, we sail. Or oh, 21 plus time to build units. Um, horsemen can run fast and far, but they have those immortals that are weak. Now those are the swordsmen, but otherwise, last time here, they have them. Yeah which have an anti-cavalry bonus. Um, and we can have an army size of five now. So you build the Naus now, please. And then we recruit some more units, something like this. Upkeep of five, that means we get 25. Okay, the money we have for that, that's fine. Um, shall we have all of them in Regensburg? Population wise, I'm thinking now, because then the population in Regensburg will drop by five. On the other hand, population in Regensburg builds up very quickly. They will start in five turns. 
They will be finished in eight. How long do we need here to recruit? Two turns. We can recruit one unit of javelinies here. Okay. Yeah. Nine turns and these in ten turns and then they can meet. Just just to be sure they are not doing stupidities over there. I want to be surprised by them. I want to be prepared. Okay, and turn. City starvation. So apparently there are anyway too many people in Lingensburg. In 15 turns we will lose population. Well, until then we lose population anyway. So we are fine. Good. Otherwise, what's the next to be done? In Tikal, the Naust will be ready. People of Tikal are starving as well. Oh, but that should solve with building the Naust. But it will happen in two turns already. Then we quickly spend some money on that. How do we boost the industry? Plus industry on river. Yeah, that would give us one, two, three tiles. A bonus on three tiles actually. And if you have a maker squad there here, then we get the bonus all around here. That we also need the maker's quota first. <laughs> Plus two food on river, yeah, it's also nice. Just a common quota would be a thing in that position. Then not have the food here, maybe, because anyway, food we could have them down here and here and here more if we want. Also here, so there are quite some possibilities food-wise. Oh yeah, not to forget that also counts for here, so and there's even more water, uh, more river. Oh, but also here, what about the maker's quarter? Here it gives plus nine, but there we also have a lot of... No, there we only have food, actually. And there I would prefer to get the industry from down here, actually. Like here. And there, there, there a maker's quarter would be nice, but until we get there, that takes a while. Hmm. Actually, one, two, three. Then we will be here. And we will get three, six, nine, twelve. Plus this plus maker's quarter. That would be for, for Tika quite a boost. Also, here we would get. So, here a maker's quarter. Or yeah, something like here. Because then we also have the river with us. Really just here and here a commons quarter to uh, lower the, the minus on stability. Then we need first a farmer's quarter. Okay. I mean, also food ticker can be used. Ah, and also a higher population limit actually, because it's almost at the limit. Okay. Another event, Fox in the Wind. Today the Empire spends many cities and enjoys a period of peace. However, while citizens worry less about the horrors of war, other 
fears prey on their minds. The citizens are afraid. The city squares ripe with hearsay. Rumors across the land speak of a terrible malady laying entire communities to waste. The sufferers bloodied and bedridden. What will you do? Heat, the movement of people, whether for trade or elsewise, needs to be restricted. Locked down. Plus stability minus 10 industry. 10 industry is not... Actually, on Tikal it's bad. On the others, not. Or we can ignore it. People exaggerate the horror. Any imposed cure might be worse than the disease. Lock them down. Ignore. Chance of bad consequences. Hmm. Let's gamble a little bit. We ignore it. See what happens. Mm -hmm. Anything to do right now? Nope. And we end our turn. 17 turns to our target. Still nothing to do. Ah, in Timishwara we should maybe choose to spawn the units here and in Regensburg yeah in the garrison okay fine um stability 79 79 39 okay where is the drop in stability coming from Ah, uh, probably because we don't have trade on going with the uh, Ghanaians anymore. Okay. Mm. Ah, soon we will have plus food on river. Good. I can also think about placing the wonder soon. 25 turns if Regensburg alone. So if you have that in this region also, that would boost stability and religion towards all these. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a plan. Let me see, maybe once we produce the army to switch to that. Just need to make sure to not uh, block then building the the landscapes, but that's to be seen. Okay, Turn. the Ghanaians seem to actually not be interested in war right now. Urgent affairs require our attention. Okay, I see here fields of plenty, hard. Your empire is a land of plenty. Your city is a quiltwork of farms and small holdings that feed your hungry and ambitious people. While new methods of the age bring huge grain sealers into your employ, transforming the farming landscape. As the sector scales up, you must now ask yourself if it is time the state ran the empire's farms. Industrial production. Okay. Anyway, we don't have an influence, so whatever. We can choose between nationalized industries, plus one farmer slot on city or outpost performance quarter. That's a huge boost towards collectivism. Gives additional industry, okay. And we have privatized industries, gives one trader slot on city or outpost per market quarter, okay. Boosts towards individualism. So basically communism versus capitalism. Basic. Otherwise, nothing. Next turn. Then, idle army. <laughs> okay, now the army production in Regensburg starts. Um, we station them here for the moment. And now we produce new. People. Ah, and also the food income is now bigger because the nest is ready, so now we have a huge food income. 
Okay. Yeah, we can boost science even more and probably with that amount of, of food, uh, the single farmers don't make that huge a difference. Okay. Here we have more potential for science also. 14 turns. Two turns for the animal bonds. That's still valid like that. And TKL is almost full with everything anyway. Yeah. So what does the Naust count again? I don't see it here. Uh, here probably Naust counts as farmers and market quarter. Oh, so if you have like farmer's quarters here and here, for example, they will also benefit from each other. Okay. Make this one here. Good. Next. Osmosis event again. Let's see if positive. Uh, looks like Exchanges between the people of this city and its neighbor Ghanaians could lead to a major technological breakthrough. You may pay to unlock craftsmanship. Okay, that would be an industry boost if we have one iron. Okay, and the other one is two copper. Yeah, we only have one. The other one that the Ghanaians have, who are not trading with us right now. Um, boost research to 13, that's round about what we have per turn anyway. And that's one technology, and we have the money. Okay, take it. We take it. Nice. Um, what do I see? Ranger Daro knows what to do. Animal bonds, that will give us a little more food boost. Did we grow the population in the meanwhile? Because we do have flood irrigation now. Oh, yeah, and we have the additional food income. The values increased. I think that has been seven, five, six. Yeah. Before. And we still only have one food in plus. Probably our population increased okay let's see how much the animal barns do um, yeah they should do quite some yeah now we have plus 15. Okay, nice and we sold incense to the morians okay take that um Idle City, Idle City, Team Regensburg. Okay, the whole army is produced. Nice. Where do we go? Here, here. To put pressure in there, if necessary. We can ransack that and then go further on here, if necessary. Yeah. Okay. Maybe for Timisoara we could have uh, here a garrison too. Maybe. Oh, we could definitely need a stability boost. Um, Common Squatter. Aqueduct. Yeah, let me start with the aqueduct. Because the common squad in, in the end doesn't necessarily boost our stability directly. Um, it lowers the bad effects in the end. Because if you have it surrounded by the ideal six 
other districts. Then you get a bonus of 30 because of the adjacent districts, but you still lose 60. So in the end, you, you, it just makes you lose half. And you get one food and one industry. Basically, we can place it somewhere like here. No, but here we would profit a lot from industry. Here, for example, to then lower the effects on these on the outside. And here we anyway only get one. Yeah, that would be an option, for example. Or, I don't know, here, where we only have the two food and otherwise um, a lot of other stuff. So it doesn't really benefit from having like here four makers quarters because there's no base here to make us quarters are interesting for example bam bam these these four would be interesting for makers quarters even that one we could think of then making into a commons quarter and having like here 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 farmers quarters makers quarter and having the stability loss reduced by a commons quarter here or here or here but not in the, the ones that give us a good bonus. At least not right now. Maybe in, later in the game that changes, I don't know. Um, but right now I would go with the absolute bonus of the aqueduct. Regensburg. What do we do? The population is now down to 13. And we have a huge food production. Um, a huge plus in food, say it like that. So we can still keep all of them in science. Plus food on harbor. What does the ability say? 94. Ah, plus 20 from units. Because of these guys or what? Okay. 15 turns. 3,300 industry, okay. I would understand it better not if it would correlate with the amount of districts that you have, but with distance from the city, for example. Like if I build it here, right next to it, next to the center, next to adjacent districts, it should be cheaper, for example, than if I build it here further away. Maybe that would make more sense would be an idea or that for example a harbor or announced in that case takes much more industry because yeah you have all the transport way and so on just an idea um, plus food on river yeah we don't necessarily need that plus money on harbor industry this industry in river, yeah. <laughs> the stability in garrison, the aqueduct, plus money on market quarters. Yeah, we, we don't have any. Um, can also use some vision actually. Oh wait, oh, I'm oh, putting 12 turns the now it's already. Hmm. I'm thinking now. Um not the now already, the, the research for seafaring mastery is ready in 12 turns. Shall we start building the wonder now? And maybe together with the other cities, it can be done fast enough. Like in Mohenjo Daro, we give up on the aqueduct at the, in the meanwhile and support building the wonder. Tikal, yeah, Tikal will not give us much. And Timishwara. 
is also up on the aqueduct and helps building that or we keep producing now wait we go on with all these find stuff to do also for Regensburg and Timishwara until the research is done to then be ready to also produce the, the necessary ships or yeah I guess these are ships but I'm still wondering why they are so weak but yeah, we'll see that um and then we see yeah let's let's stick to the plan in the meanwhile okay we go with aqueduct aqueduct and then regensburg does now some small stuff we do the watchtower even stone walls could be an idea barracks is an idea um, science and research quarters yeah i mean we have one research quarter that's the astronomy house that means the house of scribes gives us more at the moment and it's cheaper okay um and then we also do the aqueduct and then 12 turns are over and we also have that to die. okay Timishwara needs something to do for five turns basically like fishmonger plus money on harbor plus money on market quarters yeah doesn't give us anything on barracks minus 10 percent on unit industry cost Oh, we still have the forge to research here. Okay, then uh, we research the forge. Yeah. Okay. Tika, we have yet. For Tika, we find stuff. Tika and Mainjo Daro, I mean, I mean Mainjo Daro can't produce ships because it doesn't have a harbor, so that's fine for sure. No, we have quite some influences over in the meanwhile. Um, but maybe if we get the chance to found a colony, for example, we might want to use that. A situation not happening much. But also here it's quite stable. Okay. And then let's check in Timishwara. How did that change? They used one of the science guys. Okay, does that influence the time of the aqueduct? Yes, it does. Okay, then we leave that guy. Um, and there it's one turn. It's still one turn. No, it's two turns. Okay. And we leave it like that. Good. And you start your travel to these guys. Yeah, and they wait here for the guy. Um, now we do skip this turn. Okay. Gananta has gained renown as a traitor. Declared war on the Morians again, okay. Mm. Those guys, yeah, they declared war and immediately have like three of their cities. What? Oh my. Oh, interesting. Okay, so we can also see events on other cities. Interesting. We have here yeah, all kinds of marble, porcelain. They also have copper. What do they have here? Papyrus. 
what kinds of stuff they get now? I mean, we've been lucky in the beginning with all the incense that we have. That also gives us a lot of money. And we see plus 30 money, plus 24 stability. That's nice. Um, but otherwise we don't have stuff other than these. And here is the rest, and that's also interesting stuff. Okay, then you guys go here. Yeah, I said. Okay. And you stay at first. Good. End of the turn. Oh, they are moving away. Oh, probably because they are at war. Now they need them. We move a little our army around. Um, you guys go here. Because then with them we can quickly decide where we need them. And bring them there. Little army, you guys go over here. Okay. And the war has ended already. Okay, how did it end? They kept two of the cities. Wow, no. From one moment to the other, the Ghanaians have five cities instead of three, okay. When with a low population, 11 altogether. But only an additional five population, but they have now the chance to grow. I don't like that necessarily. I don't like that. When we have a huge population advantage at the moment. But still, they declared war and within one turn, the war was over within two turns. Efficient, those guys. Speak quickly. Your voice what is like nails it? on a slate. Uh, strength is comparable. Yeah. There was a fort as much higher than ours. Yeah, but we are closing the gap because we can go up to 80 because of being militarist. And we can then also declare war to them, as far as I understood. Yeah. You need 80 war support. Okay, and it updates the badge hero, what gives you additional combat strength. Okay. But they seem to not be interested in war at the moment, at least. Because they don't do anything. It might also be that they just consider us as, as too strong. Okay. Um, and you station here. Good. And these can quickly get in there to support if necessary, and otherwise are defending that flank. I mean, yeah, these guys can also then support quickly for me here if necessary. Okay. Looks quite uh, worry again, let's say. Also from our side, but I'm just prefer preparing to defend right now. My focus is on going over the sea. Okay, maximum science. Yeah. Good. Next turn. Nothing happening. Osmosis event again and. Idle city. Ah, Tikal. Nice. So Tikal now has here the farmer's quarter. Um, we go for another farmer's quarter. What's the stability? Going down to 64. Could use some stability. 
we could get some stability i think by placing the, but then we don't see what's going on here but also place a garrison here here no, here is not ideal here we have good resources Yeah, garrisons would be nice, but yeah, that belongs to them. There, maybe. Pickle builds a garrison. Cannot be done without better vision. Okay. And then you go here now. And build a garrison here. Because then we also have a nice overview here. Um, also, a watchtower would then be nice, but it takes quite a while. Yeah, the the industry issue in Tika is a thing. Maybe we let it build now a little and then we even buy it. It gives us some more stability. Yeah, also the common squad will give us then some stability back. Wasn't there also a boost here? City watch plus stability on garrison. I mean, we already have a garrison here. It would then also be a plus 10 stability once we have it. Okay. Ah, damn it. Missed the osmosis event. Ah, oh, okay. If I miss that, it's. <laughs> you fucked up? Okay. That's it. Interesting. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe it comes back. Maybe, hopefully. Don't know. Um, I don't know. Charcoal can I add we need more resources, right? I was looking now for the upgrade that uh, we get more industry from mountains, but I think uh, we already have it. Because I don't see it anywhere. Okay, four turns. Ah, oh, nice. The people of Mahenjo Dado converted to Ruveranism. Great. So our religion goes further. Oh, that's ours. That's uh, their territory. Okay. Seven follower in that. Now we have 44 followers. Nice. Exactly. And from the tenant, we have the plus food in coastal water and on lake. We don't have any lakes so far. But we have that. Good. I'm saying we're good. Close to one hour. So I'm confident that we will see some sailing action today. First, a blossoming of beliefs. Religious feeling is strong across the empire, but that is not preventing discord from emerging from among the faithful. Great cities are finding themselves under the sway of diverse religious leaders who each see the standard creed with different eyes. New religious orders are emerging every year, and their influence is growing. What should you do with these groups? Dissolve your one faith and should now not allow a fracturing of our religion. Okay, it gives us fanatical influence. Each citizen must find their own way to the divine. We should be tolerant of religious interpretation. Plus five faith. 
as well leaders of the faith it is our duty to strengthen it and keep it pure fanatical um I would say influence again because that also reflects my own opinion everyone has to find their own way you have reached the end of an ideology axis of all the epithets other empires may use for you wishy-washy won't be one of them wishy-washy won't be one of them yeah okay how, many po how much population do we have in the meanwhile 16 30 57 quite some compared to the Morians four. Uh -huh. There they are. Occupying. The army has captured the city. Okay. Okay, nothing more to do. Two turns, guys. One turn. Uh, have an idle. Regensburg is now idle city. Okay. Wasn't it supposed to be ready just in time and Timisoara should have been ready one turn earlier? Whatever. What do we do within one turn? Stoneworks, that would give us a minimum bonus. Or we recruit another unit of horsemen, for example. It takes two turns, but yeah, whatever. Because population, yeah, is back up to 17. Yeah, with the Naust now, Regensburg is growing more and more. Yeah, charcoal would be nice, but I don't think the Morians have copper. I'm listening. Trade? No, they don't have anything. Um... Still in the classical era. And almost dead, I think. I hope our little chat is as unpleasant for you as it is for me. Can we? No, whatever. I was thinking of uh actually that might be might be interesting. Let let's try it. Let's try it. Um we go to crisis. We refuse the demands. How could you think the answer would be okay, yes? Blah 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 blah. Okay. And now we, Thanks, we buy your copper. Demand ah, okay. Draw. The diplomatic relate relations do not allow it. Ah, you because we can only trade luxuries. Can we trade those now? Yes, those we could buy. I don't do it now because it's, it's, it's wasted money, but it's possible. Before it wasn't. Interesting. I don't buy it because they will anyway renew their demand right away and then the, the trade will be blocked again and then we just wasted 200 money. Um, Decal for 1500. We could finish that earlier. Farmer, common, maker. We want to three more to build. Hmm. Or farmer, common, maker, and then research the additional industry on the river. That will boost one, two, three, four, five, six, like this. Only five. Ah, no, but also this one. Okay, so it doesn't make a difference. Then this one, because we get the mountains. And also here, additional industry. Yeah. That would help quite a lot. The, in combination with the, the water mill. Where is it? Hmm. 
<clears throat> oh, or did I research that already? No, there it is. Water move. 15 turns. But then it might be solved. Well, we start now at first with the forge, for example. We don't have any maker's quarters so far, do we? No. Dude, the garrison, the industry is going up now. Uh, industry stability. Ah, from luxury resources. Okay, so it will go down again once the the trade has stopped again. Yeah. Whatever. Okay, and that we do here. You have unlocked Seafair and Ah, to safely travel the dangerous, hungry oceans. You can cause trouble anywhere you want now and have a better chance of getting away with it. Exactly. Yeah, no. File and system temporary hold your purchase. Yeah, yeah, they demand it again. Okay, and... Oh, well did. Discover seafaring mastery. Nice. 50 fame. Take it. Um, yeah, and stability is down again. Okay. So, that's only the crisis. I think. Yeah. Can be overlooked. Good. Then we need to also do new research. Um, crossbowman and pikeman. Or feudalism colony model starts with three population. Create a city with a small package of infrastructures already built. Three population, 140 industry. All infrastructures from the first two eras. Plus one food. That just appears, I think. If it's the round one, then just. Then that's immediately there. And peasants. Also nice. Anyway, from here, back here, yeah, we have everything. Um, but also theology we will need in order to be allowed to have a new city. Because we have at the moment four of four. Uh, the science festival plus two influence. Can we go like this? Do we have here? Chivalry. Gills. Forest minus 10 pollution? We don't have pollution. Probably that comes with the, the next age then. Apothe apothecary, apothecary. Not sure about the pronunciation here, actually. Plus one stability per researcher. Alchemist's workshop plus 10% science. Interesting, interesting stuff upcoming. High furnace plus industry, but we need two copper. Okay, armory plus 25 for experience on creating unit. Plus one veterancy level for militia units. Nice. Quest to iron. Military architecture. The Pope city. Ability to merge several cities. Okay. Fort. Um, often expansion of simple watchtowers. Plus one vision. And plus one combat strength. Okay. For units in district. On the garrison, okay, nice. And siege weapon trebuchet. Okay, that works then probably faster uh, than the rams that we've seen. And then it goes towards gunpowder warfare. 
let's first clean up here. Then we can also have additional units slot and great salts and then 35 but needs two iron. They don't need anything. Here we also have from tourney fields, minus 15% on unit industry cost and knights. And what Hamlet can be built once per territory. Sometimes cities need to hold sway over lands beyond the city gates without paving every blade of grass between. Okay. Doesn't count as a district somehow. Reduces stability, but on city our outpost gives one slot of each. Okay. Still, I mean, yeah, these two we definitely want right now. Even feudalism first and then theology. Um, and then we see if we want to go further the war direction or not. Good. Then Timishwara has announced the level now. Does have one. And we build now a landscape. And we did think something. Long skip, no. Naval transport range combat naval unit must have line of sight to attack. Replaces land units which embark to travel across ocean tiles. Ah. Ah. I, I think ah uh, at least. Um. I think we, we have to go with the land unit into water and then it becomes that landscape. So we don't have to, to build that ship. But they are then substituted. Um, we are building one horseman here. Then we go with another one there. Okay, run, 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 run. And you remain. Then they go up here, and then we have more that go here towards the right. Um, Tikar. Okay, here you go. Run, run, run. Okay. Understood. I think understood. I think understood. Timishwara stability 94. Plus five from units, okay, that means five will go away. Still 89. You can even have more food on Timishwara if you want. Well, 23 food. Yeah. Or we start building the wonder. Let's start building the wonder. And we build it in Mohenjo Daro. Maybe not here on the river. Oh, that's all river. That's all good income. Here we don't have any income on that field, is that correct? It's that prairie. Nothing. On the other hand, uh, that's close to a coup now. I mean, there we could, together with the makers' quarters, have some nice effects. But then here, and also the spot is nice surrounded here. Let's place it here. Okay. Then next turn, Regensburg can contribute, and even Mohenjo Daro can contribute. They should contribute as it's built in their um, influence their territory we will also have more influence what is necessary my influence went quite down here they have a wonder here okay ah probably because they have these cities now 
like that they have probably more influence that was a mausoleum ah okay we we see a woods there and what do they have here satraps palace count as market quarter okay gives them 10 money five influence and two food and minus 10 stability Could buy the garrison to speed up Tikal a little. 1300, yeah. Let's go. The former squatter now takes 14 turns. Oh, yeah, because they also become more expensive. Hey, hey, hey. So maybe we don't build the former squatter now, but first we do something. Um. That yeah, that counts at least as forest everything. And mountains. That's prairie, that's river, that's forest and river, that's also forest and river. So lumber yard or watermill. I guess first lumber yard. Because also it's faster. You also buy that. Plus four industry only. Damn it. Expected more actually. Yeah, then the watermill. But that will take some time. Because now we already spent quite some money, so now it's fine for the moment um, we stay here yeah garrison provides vision and stability good and then we can actually turn Now Regensburg is idle. It helps here. And then we are down to 15 turns with the wonder. Yeah, much better. Um, you guys can meet here. Do they now automatically move together if I put them like this? No. Okay. You go here and. Yes, it works. There they are sailing. That's our first landscape. Yay! Well, off we sail. And we have six movement, not two, three, as the ship said. As the description said. Ah, but we also have the bonus. Wait. The landscape has three movement, but we are Norsemen. What lets us have plus three naval movement? Nice. And additional combat strength. Yeah. Although these guys are not necessarily made for combat. Actually, how? No, that's the fastest option. Okay. Go well. Ginan will enter the sphere of influence of the Ghanaians in 20 turns. Come on. Um, yeah, that should help there, actually. And we would need more influence in Tikar. Come on, Squatter. But we just gave up on a little bit. Ah, uh, yeah. We'll manage with these guys. We'll find a way. Actually, no, we'll go like this. And sail off towards the east. Oh, there's directly stuff. We want to collect that for sure. Now we see with these guys what's towards the east. And with these guys, we sail 
towards the northwest. Right. Go straight here, please. Next level pathfinding. Um, now we should also have the horseman back. Because now we have less military, mm, whatever. First we build the wonder. Okay, you will support me next time. Good. We add you guys here. Nine turns. Okay. A merchant from afar. Bang, bang, bang. A rabble of traders ferrying strange wares are knocking on Mohenjo Daro's gates, demanding an audience. They tell you they hail from a far land, having traveled many leagues along one of your favorite trade routes. They claim to offer merchandise that will be profitable, but they also look rather haggard and exhausted. Do you agree to let them in? Dismiss. Foreigners carrying strange wares, ideas, and perhaps words are not welcome. Or consent. We should welcome traders from far climes. The chance of profits is worth the risk of foulness. Unexpected consequences. Gamble. Reaching the end of an ideology axis isn't extremist. I'm open to new ideas. Think so. of it as being focused, yes? Very goal oriented. If the narrator says so, then that's it. Um, does it make a difference for the Angkor Wat? Yes, it does. Right. If it does make a difference anywhere, then we can leave it like this. 4,000 influence in the meanwhile. 5,000. Um, What's that uh, thing? And normally, if we wouldn't have uh, have the lung skip, now we, we would die already after two turns, I think, because we are in the deep sea where we can't survive with the normal transport. Only in the, the, the bright, the lighter blue sea areas, they could survive. Out here, not. Rack plus 80 inference and 70 uh, science. All hands to station. Okay, go, go, go. Yeah. And one more. Anything happening here? Doesn't look like. Osmosis event. Looks like science again. Um. Minor technological breakthrough, we get a 166 bonus, that's around one turn. Okay. Probably they don't have technolo technologies researched anymore that we can buy. Two of the Morians. You have my ear. For a time. No idea. Okay. Tell me what is on um, your mind. We have 80 war support. We can just declare war on them now, okay? Um, do we want that? Not yet, I would say. I would focus really now, at first. Make full sail. On sailing. Uh, urgent affairs. Fox on the wind too. Blessings, the gods smile upon the empire. For months have passed and every city finds itself absent of any sign of the box. Whether it was cunning leadership or divine providence, only you can decide. Abide. From tiny settlements to grand cities, the people sleep a little easier. Okay. Good for the people. Mm. Leave that as it is. And we sail further. See if we can find land. What's the time say? Time says we can sail a little more. So 
want to find something. Mm, here happens nothing. Forty-six followers, increasing number of followers. Okay, there's land. Don't know if it's an island. Also, I don't know why I'm sailing around in the, in the deep sea instead of just getting closer. But we found something here. But there's not much space. Pro probably an island. Question is how big. What's here? Shall we go? Oh, there's something. I just wanted to say, shall we go just straight west or more north, but we are quite in the middle. Um, there is something. Okay. I think that's the color of the neutral cultures. Uh, I have no idea it's overlapping there. So to be honest, no idea what's there. The Morians reached the classical era and kept their traditions. They don't see so, a point this anymore in changing it. Be an ally or an enemy, a barrier or a blessing. Their future yeah, may not be in their hands. I hope for your sake these Aztecs turn out to be friendly. The last too. thing you want is to be their prisoner of war. What realm is that? Aztecs. Ah, Aztex, I think that's who those guys became. Yeah. Leech of one empire. Ah, okay. So they, they completely rule over there, probably. And these guys are, I don't know, some... I don't know, overlapping name. Okay. Manage your relationship with them. This is where I them. greet you. Impress upon you the wonder of my people? And tell you my ambitions? No? Maybe. <laughs> they salute us. They are the leaders currently in fame. Um, okay, I mean, uh, this loyal, the very righteousness and fidelity, they will never betray their words. Vindictive, they never forget what happened in the past. Strength, plus two money on market quarter, and plus 10% science on all cities. And bias Avenger, they retaliate until extermination of the aggressor. Ah, okay. So if someone attacks them, they attack until they dead. They are obviously angry with you and so are likely to start a fight if they haven't already. Why? They see us as their closest challenger. Ah, okay. We follow different religions and the archetype is vindictive. Strength, weaker. We are much more powerful than them. Okay. Did they become too comfortable maybe? In leading on their side and everything is fine and we have that current, uh, that, that current, that uh, constant war ongoing with the Ghanaians. And that's why we are stronger or what? But we can propose to trade. Oh. I have a proposal for you. Good. There is much to admire here. Infinity runners, are they are militarist as well, the Aztecs. Okay. Marvelous, like the first rays of daylight. What do they have? Lots of stuff. Silver. Plus two science on research quarter. Okay, not too good. Salt. Plus five food. Per salt from all cities. What can I be done? Is this extractor is deactivated? Okay. Ambergris that gives just a plus five science bonus on all cities. Okay, 273, yeah, that we buy. Ebony plus four stability as usual and plus three industry per ebony on main plaza and per administrative center. Yes, 157. It's not even very expensive. And we also find out something about their map. 
Plus one money per trader. Yeah, that's not, not very strong right now. There is that here and here. Okay. Um, we are trading resources with them. Trust improving. And now the strength is comparable. Ah, because now we depend on access to their resources. Okay. Well, we don't necessarily depend, but they may think so. Um, ah, yeah, okay. So as soon as they start sailing, uh, it's not like we only have to defend anyone towards that side, but over there they are. Okay. So do we then go further south? That seems to not be lift on so far. This? No, it is, I think. I'm, I'm looking for a, a place where we can land without directly being aggressive. Um, yeah, that's a, a tiny island. Some are complete a set of islands here. A lot of coastal water, so if you need food, attach that territory. Like a colony. Probably that's not necessarily a bigger landmass. Okay. Then we go here. And we go here. And we go here. And here. Okay, oh, what's that? Aztecs, rebels, worms. Rebels, they disenfranchised the downtrodden the dissenters. They are no longer happy to be a silent opposition. Crisis has spurred them into taking up arms. Okay. Swordsman with strength of eight. Okay. Not very strong. I mean, our units should wash over them. If necessary. Five turns until the wonder is gone. Nothing happening here. Um, yeah, Regensburg continues growing. You can switch that to balance actually in the meanwhile. Can we boost science? Not really. Boost our money income. It was not too much. Does it change anything here? No. Okay, then we take the money, then we leave it like this. Still five turns. Okay. Good. Finish our turn. Yep, it's here. 47 followers in the meanwhile. Then we check Raise the, main the situation here. Yeah, okay, that's an ant. Ah, no, it's also taken. Okay. Uh, no. I was only setting next to it. Come on. Ah, these are also rebels, okay. Eight, eight, eight. Okay, and these are support. Really treat. I don't want to fight right now. I'm just here for exploration. Okay. At least we sail somewhere where we've not been before, so we explore a little more. Um, good, good, good. 
then check the tier even more. Oh, that looks like a, a bigger landmass. Setting sail. Can check that out. Oh, but it takes one full turn. Okay. Great deed accomplished. We found the great blue hole. Yeah. Great blue hole. All manner of sea creatures stalk the hole's uncharted depths, from sharks to gobies to anglefish. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then here we can go ashore. Ah, not the, ah, okay. This together. Like this is the surrounding, and that is the actual great blue hole. And we might have found another continent here, guys. At least no one is, is living here yet. That's something. Maybe it's just also the western side of wherever they are, but according to the size of the map, that could be something completely own. So maybe we found something new here. Okay. With that image, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the part. If you like what I'm doing here, don't forget to subscribe. And I wish you all a great day and bye-bye.